one of the areas where I really focus on is to uh, help CFOs and other executives in the C-suite figure out how they can most effectively leverage digital finance capabilities. There's really three key topic areas that I'd like to touch on today. One is around uh, advanced analytics. The second is around process automation. And the third piece is around mobility. From an analytics standpoint, Things like Internet of Things or cognitive computing, uh, in-memory computing, enables the CFO to make real-time decisions that leverages both structured and unstructured data in a way that it never previously has. So what this is, enables is real-time decision-making around product profitability, customer profitability, geographic profit profitability, or channel profitability. It enables the CFO to look at and enable business decisions uh, in a way that just happens more quickly than it has in the past. It enables them to make and drive real-time business decisions. From a mobility standpoint, what we're talking about here is, is a way to enable real-time decision-making, but through the use of things like iPads or tablets or iPhones or other types of devices that the CFO and, and his or her direct reports can really use to both review data, um, make decisions on that data, even do things as routine as, as process time and expense reports and process other things like invoices or supplier payments or otherwise. So it enables sort of a, a workforce to be focused and easily access data uh, real time, all the time. And then finally around process automation. This is one of the most exciting, I think, game changers for, uh, for the CFO and the finance organization that's happened recently. You know, it, historically there's been a decision around taking routine transactional finance processes like procure to pay, record to report, order to cash, planning, budgeting and forecasting, uh, tax return processing and other finance processes and basically doing them in lower cost locations or doing them, you know, or, or outsourcing them. One of the most exciting examples that, uh, that I'd like to highlight here is with uh, an oil and gas client that I have who's looking at ways, and we're helping to enable them to look at ways to take blockchain and put it on the front of land administration and then take robotics process automation and make that transactional process happen more quickly. So, you know, a lot of our clients are, are very clear about how complex managing the contracts within land administration are. There's often joint ventures associated with it. There's, you know, multiple landowners that have to be, you know, paid for their mineral rights. There's a number of different really manual processes and manual holding of contracts that exist. What blockchain does is it enables the access to that information to happen much more quickly. And then add robotics process automation onto it and you have what is a very cumbersome, labor intensive, time consuming activity today, makes it much more efficient and makes the decision making more quick and effective. Enabling uh, a set of capabilities that helps their organization to be more efficient to drive insights more quickly from disparate sets of data, leveraging tools that enable them to make real-time decisions, ends up creating both additional cost efficiencies for the overall business, as well as helping them to identify differentiated points of value.